Hello my lovelies, thank you for joining me. In my last video I was chatting about painting your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand and that that can be a challenge, um, especially when it comes to things like nail art. Um, now when I first started doing my nails, which was about six years ago now, I was trying to do some freehand designs and because I was finding all these videos and pictures on uh, YouTube and Pinterest and all of that and I was trying my best to recreate them and I was getting very frustrated because I basically have zero artistic ability and that's with my dominant hand so never mind my non-dominant hand so I started looking at things that I could do to basically beautify my nails that didn't take too much of a challenge uh, with my non-dominant hand and so I thought I'd do today I mentioned all of those in my previous video and I thought I'd just give you an example of what some of those things are today um, this collection that you can see is, I have to admit, a tiny part of my collection of my nail art goodies. Um, but I use all of them, I love them all, um, and they're all relatively easy to master with your non-dominant hand. So I'll just take you through a few examples of what they are. So one that I use quite a lot of is glitters. Now I've got a few collections here. This one, as you can see, is a relatively chunky glitter. Um, compared to the ultra fine glitters that you can get that you can burnish in and give you that lovely sort of holographic look. Um, this is a finer glitter in orange. You also get ultra fine glitters. Um, you can get glitters of all sorts of different, oh, excuse me, different shapes and sizes. Um, so this one's got little, yeah, little beautiful shapes and yeah, I've got some sort of mylar type glitters here as well which are just sort of flex. Um, and of course you can combine all of these as well. So you can make your own glitter mix. There's nothing stopping you. These two combined, for instance, would be lovely with like, say a little silver bit of the mylar as well would, would be great. So you can make your own versions of them. You can also get dusts. Now this is a little um, star dust. You can't really see in here, but when you burn the shish into the nail, it does like a pink purple shift. And it's really quite lovely. Um, you can get all sorts of different colours. I've also got a blue-purple one here. I think I've got a, a green to gold as well. And they're really quite lovely. So they just give your nail like an interesting bit of colour and a lovely shine and shimmer to it. I've also got some stamping plates and polishes. Um, so if you want to do stamping, you will need all of these things. You will need at least a stamping plate. You will need a stamping polish. You will need a scraper. Um, and you will need an actual stamper itself. Now there's so many of these on the market. You get squishy stampers, you get clear stampers, you get sticky ones. And basically it all just comes down to personal preference. The beauty of this one is that you can actually look down the barrel and see where you're placing your stamp on your nail. Um, so if you're doing something um, that's like layered stamping, for instance, you can see exactly where you're placing it, which is brilliant. And there's literally thousands and thousands of stamping plates available. Same with the polishes. And so that gives you a lot of, of options. You can layer your stamping. Um, and you can also find that some of your existing nail polishes, not necessarily stamping polishes, but they might be good for stamping. So it's always worth trying those out and seeing as well. Now all of these, I've got a variety of powders down the side here. Um, and they all give a slightly different look. So... Um, this one is, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's an actually, it's a beautiful holographic powder. It's basically a silver holographic and it's just lovely. And that comes in a powder form, which looks just like this. And you just burnish that into the tacky layer of your polish. So once you've cured your gel polish, you do need one that's got a sticky layer and you just use, take a brush, um, Preferably something like this, which is a bit fluffy on the end. As you can see, I've used this quite a lot. It's got all sorts of different colours. And you can just use that to burnish it um, into your nail. It comes out with that lovely holographic look. I've also got this one, which is like little mylar flakes. And as you can see, they go in different colours. That's on a black background. You can see I've sort of got yellows in there, blues, greens, a whole array of colours. And yet when you look at it in the pot... It just looks like it's quite clear, um, but again, that's lovely. So it just depends on what kind of look you want to go for with these powders. You get the chrome powders as well, um, which this is a duochrome. It goes sort of like a copper color to a green, 
and again that's quite lovely on the nails as well um, I also have some Swarovski crystals as you can see I've got some on my nails right now this is my clear ones I've also got some um, sort of purpley ones in here tanzanite ones and some uh, rose light rose color along those lines you can also get rhinestones these are just clear rhinestones that you can buy like kind of rhinestone wheel you get these in all different colors and sizes as well you can also use um, things like studs so in here I've got like diamond colored studs I've got some circles I've got some star shapes um, I've got some hearts here at the end this gets a bit tricky to open so um, but yes, you can see on the bottom, I've got hearts in here. I've got stars, circles, got some squares, um, in, yeah, varying gold and silver. So you can put those on your nails as well to give them a bit of a different look. You can also use these, like I just got these from my local Spotlight, which is an arts and crafts store. Um, and these are just, just flat on the back. So you can just put a bit of builder gel or base gel or some sort of thick gel and then cure those like you would a crystal and they look quite effective as well and again as you can see these are in different sizes another very useful little tool for nail art is striping tape now again you can get all sorts of different types of striping tape so like this one here is purely sort of functional you would use it to create a border on your nail and or like a divider if you're doing different colors Whereas ones like these ones are designed to actually stay on the nail. So you would use these um, and then embed them in a gel polish or an acrylic, whatever you're using. And again, there's a massive array of colours. These are metallic. I've got a metallic range. I've got blue, purple, all sorts of different colours. Um, this is like a holographic gold. Um, and this is a glitter red, which you can probably see is quite, thick, is quite a bit thicker than the other two as well. So again, there's thousands of um, striping tapes available from different places. So that's another thing that's relatively easy to master with your non-dominant hand. You can also use water decals. Um, so then again, these come in a variety of styles, colors, designs. Um, and these are quite nifty. So you just, you'd remove the tacky layer of your color polish. And soak these in a little dappened dish of water for about 20 to 30 seconds until they come away from the backing paper and then you just place them where you want them on the nail and top coat over them. So if you wanted some more intricate designs like some lovely flowers and things without having to freehand draw them, then these are a really good option. And you can actually make your own decals as well using your stamping plates and polishes. So you can stamp onto your stamper let it dry and then colour it in with whatever colours that you like. Put a layer of top coat and then roll it onto your nail and make your own decals. So that's another handy trick that you can do. And then I've also got some nail foils here. Now these come in a variety of formats. So they often come in a roll like this or you can get them in a sheet like this. Um, and these are quite useful. You will need foil glue for these. I have some seen some people dab these directly into the tacky layer of gel polish, but to be honest, I've never had that work for me. Um, so you just need a bit of foil glue and then stamp this directly onto the gel polish. And as you can see, this will give you a lovely shimmery metallic look to your nails. And again, these come in a massive range of colours, styles, um, like this one has got multiple colours. Hopefully the camera's showing that. It's got green, blue, and like a, a midnight blue at the top. So that would give you like a rainbow effect to your nails. These ones are more, um, they've got designs on them. So I've got some floral patterns and different colours. So these give you a nice different look to your nails as well. And last. Another fantastic tool um, that you can use is the dotting tool. Um, now I have five here. If you don't have dotting tools in your collection, I strongly recommend that you get some. These are fantastic. Um, they're multi-purpose. They're so handy to have in your collection. Um, this is a set of five, so they all have a different size head on the end of them. So these are the smaller sides. And as you get to the other side, hopefully you can see that they're quite a bit bigger. So that's excellent if you want to do dots, um, you know, varying in size down your nail. For instance, if you want to start with thicker dots and work your way down to thinner dots, they're brilliant. 
they're also useful um, for if you want to get a bit of a line between your cuticles. So if you've got overflow of your gel polish, they're really useful for that. Um, if you follow Talia on Talia's nail tail, she uses it to get the colour up very close to the cuticle without actually touching it. She uses a very um, small dotting tool for that. Uh, they are, they're a fantastic product if you haven't got them. Um, I suggest you get some. Something else that you can use that you may not have thought of is Sharpies. So these are quite useful. I don't know if you've ever seen um, on YouTube videos where people do like a watercolour sort of look or the marble look using Sharpies and a bit of isopropyl alcohol. So and you might actually have some of these lying around your house. Um, they're very useful for that as well. And last but not least, I have some pigments. I didn't have room to put them in the shot, but they're off here to the side. I have um, neon pigments, but again, these come in thousands of different colors. Um, and these are very useful. You can use these for all sorts of things. So you can actually use these to create your own colors. So if you wanted to make a neon gel polish, a neon yellow gel polish, for instance, you'd just mix some of this in with top coat. And depending on how opaque you wanted your colour would depend on how much or how little pigment you added to it. Equally, if you wanted to do a pastel yellow, you could add some of this pigment to a white gel polish and make your own colours. And so when you have some pigments, it just opens up your world massively. Um, you can also rub these into the tacky layer of polish as well. So if you've got a white nail, you can do, you know, you could do like a rainbow effect using pigments. And this is what a lot of people are using at the moment to create the um, the smoke nails, the smoke effect. So they're doing white gel polish, diluting it with isopropyl alcohol and then popping these on top to give that actual smoke effect. So again, these are, these are very, very versatile if you've got some of these in your collection. So that's pretty much everything I could think of immediately from my collection. As I said, this is just a small section, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. And all of these are pretty easy to master using your non-dominant hand. So as you can see, you can use the foils, the glitters to give your nails a bit of bling. You can use the gemstones, the crystals, um, the chrome powders. All of these give a lovely look to your nails. So I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.